Welcome to Friday Vanessa Flow. My name's Lou for those of you who I um, may be meeting for the first time. And today we are going to um, move through a really nice juicy hip opening flow. So our hips tend to hold quite a lot of emotion. And whenever you think about when you get stressed, um, we've got this tendency, especially from a young age, to almost like curl up into a ball. And it's your psoas, the front of your hips, that are doing that like contracting and that pulling in. And quite often emotion can get stuck in that area. And not only with um, our hips having that tendency to store that emotion, but also when we're sitting at our desks all the time, our hip flexors are on. Um, it's, they, they can become tight from a lot of things through physical, through emotional, um, through our jobs. And so today we're just going to work with really opening up through our hips. Um, but also just to be mindful that when we do that, you might find that there's all sorts of different emotions and feelings that start to bubble up. So I'll guide you through a wee bit of how to approach those as we move through the flow today as well. Cool, so there is that playlist once more for anyone who just joined. If you hit play on that one, the first song is Pachamama. Make your way to your mat and we will get started in a butterfly lying on our back. So Sukta Barakonasana. Making your way down onto your back, your soles of your feet to touch, your knees out wide. And then maybe resting your right hand or your left hand on your belly, your right hand on your heart. Shutting down your eyes and giving yourself a moment to tune into your breath. And what sort of Rhythm is your breath this morning. What texture, temperature. Maybe beginning to lengthen each inhale, each exhale. And bringing in a steadiness to the mind. As we move through our flow today, I invite you all to greet whatever is coming up, whatever your experience may be, whatever feelings or emotions might start to turn and release and start to shift inside you, to greet them with radical acceptance. And radical acceptance is a term that Tara Bratch um, talks about quite a lot where we try to commit to the truth of an experience rather than uh, running away from the, the feelings or emotions that might be coming up. And the first step being to recognize whatever you are feeling, to identify it, so to put a name on it, and then to hold space for it, to accept it, and to greet it with compassion, to greet it with a tender, loving kindness, uh, to greet it from your heart space, allow it to be there. And the third and final step in the process is to identify in your body where you might be feeling it. So really we're just moving through holding space for whatever's coming up, allowing it to eventually start to move through us, helping us to bring change to our experience. Together, one more inhale. Deep into the belly, through the nose, exhale. Bringing your knees together using your hands, your soles of the feet come onto the mat. And then from there, we'll move through a few rounds of bridge. So your arms by your side, feet hip width distance apart. Start to press through the soles of your feet as you lift your hips by squeezing your glutes. We come into our bridge. In your bridge, finding stillness for a moment, 
And there's a gentle squeezing in of inner thighs without your knees knocking together. And a pulling back of your heels toward your head. Notice how that starts to light up the back line of your body to activate your bridge. Take an inhale and hold your bridge, but reaching your hands up to the sky. As you exhale, flip the palms to face the earth, start to lower down with the hips, down with the arms, and hover from the ground. And then turning that the other way, squeeze glutes, start to lift through your bridge. Exhale, lower down. And flip the palms to the sky, squeeze and reach up. Flip palms, lower to a hover with your bridge. We'll take one more. Reach on up, press through the soles of your feet. And then this time lower down to hover. And hips can come all the way down to the earth. Bringing your knees in towards your chest, give them a wee cuddle. And then taking your arms out wide so that your arms are at shoulder height. Take your knees up to the sky so that your shins are parallel with your mat. And then we're going to move into a supine twist hover. So squeezing your belly to give you the control. And we'll take our knees over to the right. And just before they touch the ground, hover. And then coming back up through center. Belly is on, core is squeezing. Take them over to the left. Hover. Lift back up through center, and then over to the right. This time touching down on your ground, on the mat. Taking your gaze over your left fingers. And we come into our supine twist, really pressing down through your left shoulder. And finding that beautiful release, that twist, that stretch all the way down the length of your spine. We're here for two breaths. I'm taking a moment to check in with how you're feeling right now at the start of class. On your next inhale, coming out of that twist, lifting both knees back up to the sky. And then taking your knees over to the left, touch down on the ground, take your gaze over to the right. And we'll pause here for about three to four breaths. With whatever you are feeling right now, can you identify what the feeling is? Can you give it a name? And then from there, can you allow it to be there with no judgment, just accepting whatever is there right now, sitting in the truth of your experience. And then greeting it with compassion, almost as if you were going to sit down and have a cup of tea with it. Really welcoming it to be there. One more inhale. Through the nose, exhale. Peeling both knees back up to your reverse tabletop. And then this time both hands come up towards the sky. Take an inhale. Hold for the exhale. And then your right arm, your left leg is going to extend. So opposite arm, opposite leg and keeping the other ones in the center. Pull back to the midline. We'll take that on the other side. So left arm, right leg extends back. Pull into the midline. Taking that right arm, left leg, extend and hold this time. Pull on back to center. Left arm, right leg, extend. We're starting to wake up our core. Hold. Nice. Pull back to the midline. Give yourself a wee cuddle. And then rock and roll up and down your spine. Make it three or four rolls, really moving across each vertebra. Crossing over at the ankles. And then we'll roll into a tabletop. So moving over your knees. Both hands stacked underneath shoulders, knees under hips. Beginning to move through a few rounds of cat cow. So your belly drops, chest lifts, moving with your breath. Take an inhale. 
Drawing your chin to your chest, press through your hands to spread your shoulder blades. Create that even curve all the way along your spine. Exhale. Inhale, move into your cow. Through the nose, exhale, take cat. And then taking three or four more rounds of cat cow, moving with your breath. Maybe taking some free movement, moving the ribs, the hips. We're starting to wake up our spine. One more round of cat cow. And then coming into a neutral spine, neutral tabletop. Squeezing your belly to your spine. Give yourself that intra-abdominal pressure. Nice and supported. Tuck your toes. And continue squeezing belly to spine as you start to lift yourself up to downward dog. Your gaze moving between both ankles. Feet are hip width apart. And really pressing through your hands. Take a wee check in with your fingers. Are they spread as wide as possible? With your index fingers parallel to the sides of your mat. Press down, down, down through your hands to lift your shoulders. Take an inhale here. Through the nose, exhale. Right leg lifts to three-legged dog breathing in, keeping the hips squared. Draw your knee to your right elbow as you breathe out. Pause here. Can you lift your knee a little higher up your right bicep? And then step on the outer edge of your right hand. We arrive in our lizard. The left knee drops down. Keeping the chest lifted. Untuck the left toes. Really nice. Starting to open up through our hips. Take a big inhale. Driving your hips down towards the mat as you exhale, allowing gravity to do some, some of the work here. And then gently pressing our right knee out towards the right. Using your right palm here, starting to press that one out towards the right and your chest opens towards the right, your gaze coming over your right shoulder. You might like to stay here for three or four breaths or turn it into a full twisted lizard by Bending your left knee and grabbing a hold of your left foot on the pinky toe edge as you keep your gaze reaching over your right shoulder. So this one we've got a bit of a quad stretch as well as our hips starting to open. Really nice everyone. Just being mindful of how your left knee feels and if that's not feeling quite right, just releasing that bending of the left knee. We'll take one more inhale through your nose. And slowly, steadily exhale. On the next inhale, release the whole of your left foot. Come back into your lizard. And then tucking your left toes, lift your left knee. Malasana or yogi squat. Step forward to the top edge of your mat. Coming down into our squat. So with our malasana, our, big, our toes are pointing outwards, our heels inwards. And keep this one active this morning. So really squeeze your glutes and pressing your elbows into your knees, knees into elbows to give yourself a bit of a lift. We've got two rounds of breath. Maybe shutting down the eyes. Can you breathe into your hips? And take another inhale. Both hands to the mat, straighten through the legs. Exhale, heel toe your feet to hip width distance apart. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Take a halfway lift, create a long spine. Unraveling your vertebrae, bend in the knees. And then lower back down, breathing out. Utkatasana, chair pose, sweeping your arms up. Sink your hips back in space. Now Utkatasana, come into that. Gentle squeezing in of inner thighs without your knees knocking. So it's as if you've got a block between your legs. You've got that suctioning, that pulling inwards here, keeping you nice and strong and steady. And take an inhale. Really nice. So active when you have that squeeze, right? Exhale. One more breath in. Can you find a wee bit of lift from your chest? 
and then we'll fold forward, breath out. Halfway lift, long spine, hovering your right foot from the mat. Step back to runner's lunge, right toes to the back of your mat, dropping right knee down, and then place both hands on the inner edge of your left foot. Heel toe your left foot a little wider out towards the left. We're back in our lizard on the other side. Untucking your right toes, take a breath here. And as if someone's almost got a palm on your low back, on your sacrum area, and they're pressing that one forward. Notice how there is a weight of gravity driving your hips down. And then slowly picking up your left palm, pressing into your left inner knee. Starting to open your chest towards the left. Maybe staying here or if you would like to add on, you're welcome to take a bend of your right knee. Come into our twisted lizard, grabbing a hold of your right foot on the pinky toe edge. And then taking your gaze towards the back of your mat. Really nice everyone. We've got a few breaths here. One more inhale. Beginning to release out of Twisted Lizard. Both hands come to the inner edge of your left foot. Tuck your right toes, lift your right knee. Three-legged dog, sweep left leg back straight and strong. Downward dog, both feet to the mat. Now we pedal out in your downward dog, dropping one heel and then the other. And then coming into stillness. Big toes to touch, lifting the heels up high, inhale. Now we bend in the knees, take your gaze forward, step or hop to the top of your mat. Forward fold. Half lift, create a long spine. Fold on down as you breathe out. Peel yourself up to stand, arms reaching on overhead. And draw your hands to your heart centre. Find Tadasana Mountain. And in Tadasana today, finding an active Tadasana. So there's a gentle pulling up of pubic bone to belly button. Almost a little tuck of the tailbone so that if you had a bowl of water in your hips, rather than it spilling forward or spilling backwards, that level of water is really nice and flat. We'll move through a few rounds of Surya Namaskar A, Sun Cell A. Feel free to move with your breath if you would like to move out of time with my cues. Absolutely go for it, otherwise I, my cues are there for you. Taking your arms over head, inhale. Draw your hands through heart centre to fold forward. Half lift in. Hands to the mat, step back to high plank. Prepare here with an inhale. Option to drop the knees, lower down through chaturanga, keep your elbows in, squeeze belly. Baby cobra, tops of your feet press down, palms pull back in space, inhale. Lower down to the mat, exhale. Pressing back to downward dog, moving through the knees, squeeze belly to give you the lift. Big toes to touch, lifting up high on the balls of your feet in. We bend in the knees, take your gaze forward, step hop, maybe we float to the top edge of your mat. Halfway lift, pull shoulders back and down. Fold forward, exhale, moving with your breath, don't lose the connection. Peel yourself up to stand, Urdhva Hastasana, arms reach overhead. Hands come down to heart centre. Tadasana, mountain, keep it active. Arms reach over here, second round, inhale. Fold forward, exhale, squeezing belly to give you the control. Halfway lift, breath in. Hands to the mat, step back to high plank. On the exhale, lowering down through chaturanga. Baby cobra, maybe you bring an upward dog, squeeze glutes, lift low belly. Downward dog is where we meet. Big toes to touch, lift up high. 
We bend, gaze forward, step hop, float to the top edge of your mat. Half lift, inhale, squeeze glutes. Fold down, exhale. Peel yourself up to stand, arms reach overhead. And bring your hands down to prayer. Palms to the front of the room, Tadasana. Final round, arms reach overhead, inhale. Fold on down, exhale. Half lift in. Hands to the mat, step back to high plank straight away, moving through your chaturanga. Baby cobra up dog. Downward dog, lift the hips, rolling over the toes and then pausing here. You are all so beautifully in sync, just gorgeous, amazing. Your right leg lifts to three-legged dog. Draw your knee to your opposite elbow, so right knee to left elbow and pause. Can you hitch your knee up higher on your left bicep? Three-legged dog, pressing on back. Take an inhale. Draw knee to nose, step between your hands, exhale. Your left heel rolls down, warrior one, peel yourself up to stand. And so in our warrior one, we're working towards having square hips. So our left hip pulls forward, our right hip back. Really nice, and then arms are in line with your ears, but notice when you reach your arms up, notice if there's a flaring out of ribs. And just to pull those ones in by squeezing your core. Take an inhale here. Slow, steady exhale, come back to greeting whatever is coming up with that compassion, warmth, kindness. Take an inhale. Through the nose, exhale. Start to hinge yourself forward. Arms come in line with your body. Continue taking your weight over your right foot, your right knee over right foot, left heel lifts up. Warrior three is where we're going. So left leg lifts the hip height, and then hands come to your heart center. Again, find squaring off of hips, so left hip down, right hip, hip up. And there's a lifting up of the inner left thigh towards the ceiling. Hands at heart center, find your balance. Take an inhale. We're going to find a hovering standing split. So start to lift your left leg higher, higher, higher. Your torso tilts down. Find a moment of pause. And then both hands to the mat, standing splits. Take an inhale here. Both feet come to touch the mat. Forward fold, exhale. Half lift, find that length of your spine. Fold on down, breath out. Utkatasana, chair, arms sweep up, hips move back. Inhale, find a lift with your chest. Exhale, find a sinking down with your hips. Right foot hovers on your breath in. Step back to runner's lunge. Exhale, both hands to frame your left foot. Easy twist, left hand peels open. Cleopatra, picking up your left toes and placing them parallel with the top edge of your mat, reach back. Lift on up, Cleo. So we're just staying in the same position, but lifting our hips and our arm comes in line with our ear. Cleopatra, reach towards the back of the room as you start to move your hips down towards the ground. Lift back up, Cleo, or half Cleo. And then we move into Cleo, reach back, find that stretch in your outer left hip, really nice. Inhale, runner's lunge, hands to frame your left foot. Step back to high plank on your exhale, moving through a vinyasa flow. Know that these are always optional. And you can always come into a stillness, meeting in downward dog, and just hooking back into your breath or into a seated position. Really nice. Moving on to the other side, left leg lifts. Inhale, three leg. Left knee, right elbow, cross the body. Pause. Picking your knee up a little higher. You got it. Yes, yeah, so good. Extend back, three leg. Take an inhale. Draw knee to nose. Step between your hands. 
That heel rolls down, warrior one, peel yourself up to stand. We've got four breaths or so here, so really finding stillness in your warrior one after you've made those micro adjustments. And then feeling the strength that you have in your warrior and your Virabhadrasana. Two more breaths here. Can you meet this moment with radical acceptance? Breathing in through the nose. Mm, slow, steady, exhale. On your next inhale, starting to take your torso forward. Arms in line with your body. Lift right heel from the mat. Weight moves forward, forward, forward. Warrior three. Hands come to your heart center. And in your warrior three, can you really press through the sole of your right foot? Kicking towards the back of the room, straightening the leg, and reach with the crown of your head towards the front of your room or front of your mat. Take an inhale here. And hold for the exhale. You know where we're going. We're going to start to come into our hovering standing splits. So your right leg is going to lift higher, higher, higher as your torso starts to tilt down. Hover for a second. And then both hands come down to the mat. We arrive in our full standing splits. Take an inhale. Both feet to the mat. Forward fold. Uttanasana. Exhale. Half lift on the end. Fold on down, breath up. Utkatasana, chair, arms sweep up. Hips sink back in space. Full round of breath here. And that squeezing in of thighs. Maybe you sink a little deeper as you breathe out. On your next inhale, left foot hovers. Step back to runner's lunge, left toes to the back of your mat. Hands to frame your right foot. Easy twist, right hand peels open. Cleopatra picking up your right toes, pointing them parallel with your top edge of your mat, reach back. Three times we pulse, inhale, lift up. Exhale, reach to the back. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, reach. One more time, inhale, lift. Exhale, reach and hold. Find that nice juicy opening through our right hip. Take an inhale, runner's lunge. Hands to frame your right foot, step back to high plank. Moving through an optional vinyasa flow. Option to come to stillness and take a few extra breaths. We will have a wee moment here. You've got the option to come to your knees, have a rest. Otherwise, moving through a wee stretch. So your right hand is going to reach underneath your body and grab a hold of your left ankle. Really pressing through your left hand and then opening your chest towards the left. So this one we're finding that twist through our spine and we're also finding a bit of a hamstring stretch through the backs of our legs. Take another breath in and out. One more. And on your next inhale, releasing that hold, both hands come to the mat, down dog. And then we'll take that on the other side. So your left hand reaches underneath your body, grabbing a hold of your right ankle, twisting your chest open to the right, find that twist through your spine and that stretch through the back of your legs. We've got two full rounds of breath. Really keep pressing through your right palm, your shoulder lifted. And then, then both hands come back to downward dog. All together, if you're seated, making your way back into downward dog. We'll take a collective breath in. So when you're ready, inhale, fill your belly, fill your lungs. Part the lips, side that one out. <sighs> really good. Right leg lifts to three-legged dog, inhale. Right knee to left elbow. Option to stay, option to move into fallen star. 
your left heel down, right foot kicks out to the right, right foot kicks out to the left, left arm heels open. Take an inhale. And both hands to the mat, bring your knee to your nose, step back to three-legged dog. Take a breath in. Draw knee to nose, step between your hands. Warrior one, left heel down, arms peel up. And taking your arms out wide, your right arm wraps underneath your left, coming into eagle wrap. So bringing your forearms up towards one another, maybe taking the full wrap of your palms Touching. Really nice. A spreading of shoulder blades here as you press your forearms together. Take an inhale, find a wee back bend. Exhale as you pull your elbows towards your belly. Inhale, back bend. One more time. Exhale, find a crunch. Come back to a straight spine on the breath in. And as you breathe out, we'll take it into warrior three. Option to keep the wrap of your arms hinging forward, forward, forward. Taking your weight over your right toes, left heel lifts, left leg lifts to hip height. One breath here. We've got a slight change this time. So on your next inhale, stag pose. Left knee lifts to chest. Hinging at the hips. Nice, and then crossing your left leg over top of your right. We come into our full eagle. Option to have your toes just lightly touching on the ground or take the full wrap of your left ankle around your right shin. Take a breath in, squeeze thighs, squeeze forearms. Hold for the out. Release the wrap, hands to prayer, right left knee to stag. Both feet to the mat, take your chair, Utkatasana. Inhale, right foot hovers, step back to runner's lunge. Easy twist, left hand peels open. One time, Cleopatra, pick up the left toes, reach back. Frame your left foot, runner's lunge. Step back to high plank, moving through your vinyasa flow. We'll all meet in Downward Dog. Arriving in Downward Dog, take an inhale and exhale. Left leg lifts to three-legged, breathing in. Draw your knee to your opposite elbow on the out. And then fall and star is the option. So extending your leg out, find a lift of your hips. Really nice, both hands to the mat, draw your knee to your nose, step back to three-legged dog. Take an inhale, knee to nose, step between your hands, warrior one. And taking your arms wide, left arm wraps underneath right, take your eagle wrap. Inhale, find your back bend. Exhale, crunch elbow to belly. Inhale, find a squeeze of inner thighs to give you stability here, back bend. One more crunch, curling in, breath out, empty belly. Come back to a straight spine, torso is long. And then starting to hinge your weight forward, Virabhadrasana three, warrior three, right leg lifts. Find balance here for one breath. On your next inhale, right knee lifts to stag, Just keep it steady. And right leg crosses over left, come into your eagle wrap. Maybe reaching right toes around left shin or keeping them just lightly tapped on the mat. And find a squeezing in of thighs, spreading of your shoulder blades. Inhale. Sink a little deeper with your hips as we do in chair. Exhale. Unravel your eagle. Hands come to prayer. Right knee to stag. Both feet to the mat. Utkatasana. Exhale. 
Inhale, left foot hovers from the mat. Step back to runner's lunge. Easy twist, right hand peels open. Cleopatra, reach towards the back of the room, breath up. Runner's lunge, inhale. Step back to high plank, moving through your vinyasa flow. All together we arrive in our downward dog. Take a wee check in here. Actually, we'll drop the knees down, come to a seat. Resisting the urge to touch anything else, placing both palms in your lap, shutting down your eyes, and just observing any sensations, any emotions or feelings that might be starting to be stirred up, released through the asana that we're practicing today. Can you label or identify or name what that emotional that feeling is in you right now? Can you give it space to be there? And greet it with compassion, with kindness. And can you observe any specific place in your body where you might be feeling it? In your chest, tightness, maybe in your belly, your gut, or is it squirmy? We'll take two rounds of breath, breathing through whatever you're feeling. One more inhale. Through the nose, we exhale. When you're ready, making your way into your downward dog, we'll move through our flow one final time. And slowly starting to become familiar, so we're getting ready to move with one breath, one movement. We've just got a few wee additions we add on. All together, inhale and hold and down dog. Exhale collectively. Right leg lifts to three legged, breathing in. Right knee to left elbow on the out. Extend the right foot over to the left, fallen star, but this time seat your, seat your hips down on the mat. So we lower our hips down to the ground, and then moving our hands from the right all the way around to the left, your left hand down behind your hips, your right hand moves up to the sky. So we're in a bit of a funny wild thing variation almost. Take an inhale. Lower the hips down to the mat. Exhale, both hands move back round to the top of your mat. Three-legged dog, you're going to swing your right leg underneath you and back up. Take an inhale. Draw your knee to your nose, step between your hands. Warrior one, left heel down, arms reach up. Take your arms wide, eagle wrap right underneath the left. Back bend, inhale. Lifting the elbows, and then exhale, crunch elbows to belly. Come to a straight spine on the in. Lean forward, warrior three, breath out, keep the wrap. Inhale, left knee lifts to stand. Take eagle wrap, crossing over your right leg. And then we'll take a wee crunch here, the same as we did in warrior one. So find that squeezing out of everything to the midline. On your next breath in, lifting your forearms to the sky. On the breath out, pull forearms down to your thighs. Lift on up, inhale. Really tricky with the balance. Exhale, start to fold yourself in half. Come back to a straight spine on the in. And unravel your wrap, stag pose, hands to heart center. Both feet to the mat, Tadasana Mountain. Arms reach overhead, breathing in. Fold forward on the out. Taking ragdoll for a moment, grabbing a hold of opposite elbows. A really generous bend in your knees here. 
Making your way sway from side to side. Your head hanging heavy, releasing any tension in your neck. Take a big, full breath in. Mm, part your lips and really empty your belly. Push it out. <sighs> One more like that. Releasing the hands from opposite elbows. Take a halfway lift. And then folding down. Heel toe your feet out to the edges of your mat. We're moving into Malasana, so taking your hips down, taking elbows to inner thighs or inner knees. And in our Malasana this time, we've got the option to stay here and if possible, keep it active, keep that little lift of your hips. Otherwise, you're welcome to have a wee play around with crow. So taking both hands down to shoulder width distance in front of you, lifting your hips slightly, placing big toes to touch. And then your knees come onto the backs of your biceps. We move into chaturanga arms. Lean forward, forward, forward. Squeeze belly, lift hips. And maybe you float one toe and then the other off the mat. Have a little play. If you're in Malasana, know that that is strong and fiery and challenging and stick with it. You've got it. We'll take one more breath in. Great job. Nice, Heidi. And exhale. All together, hands to the mat, straighten through the legs, heel toe your feet back into hip width distance. Half lift, inhale. Hands to the mat, step back to high plank. Moving through your vinyasa flow, chaturanga. Baby cobra, up dog, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Straight away, left leg lifts to three-legged dog. Left knee to right elbow. Fallen star, extend the left leg out to the right. And then lower your hips down to the mat. Bringing both hands around to the left. Right hand behind you. Left arm sweeps up and over. Lifting hips. Yes, beautiful. Lift the hips a little higher. Really press through your right hand. Lower your hips down to the mat. Take both hands back round to the right. Three-legged dog. Your left leg stays straight and lift straight up to three-leg. Knee to your nose. Step between your hands. Warrior one. Right heel down. Arms reach up. Eagle wrap. Arms go wide. Left arm underneath right. Take the wrap. Baby back. Bend. Extend back. And pull elbows in to belly crunch forward. Straight spine, inhale. Take your weight forward, warrior three, Virabhadrasana three. Right knee to stag, breathing in, keeping the wrap of arms really nice. Right leg crosses over your left, eagle, Garudasana, taking our crunches. So once you've found that seat, Squeeze everything in, spread shoulder blades. Take an inhale, lift your forearms up to the sky. And then crunch forearms down to thighs or your elbows to knees, breath up. Lift on up, inhale. One more time, exhale, crunch on down, folding in half. Come back to a straight spine, unravel through your eagle, right leg to stag, hands to prayer. Both feet to the mat, Tadasana, palms to face the front. Arms reaching up overhead, inhale. Fold yourself forward, exhale. Halfway lift on the in. Fold forward as you heel toe your feet a little wider, coming down into Malasana. Another chance to play around with eagle. Or if you're in Malasana here, you might like to take some wee movements and fluid movements of bending one knee down, then the other knee down, almost like we're walking across the ground, kind of crab-like, and just getting really nice and juicy into the hips since we've opened them up so well. Otherwise, having a wee play with your crow, we've got two more breaths.
Final inhale. And exhale, come into stillness. All together, hands to the mat, straighten through the legs. Heel toe your feet back to hip width distance. Take an inhale, half lift. Hands to the mat, your final vinyasa flow. Step back to high plank. Moving through your vinyasa, move with your breath. And we all arrive in our downward dog. Three-legged dog, inhale, right leg. Draw knee to your nose, step between your hands, we're taking it somewhere else. Straighten through your right leg, and then we'll take a wide-legged forward fold towards the left. So pivoting on your feet, your heels are in, your toes are out. Take a half lift, find length with your spine as you press your fingertips into the ground. And then fold on forward as you breathe out, taking an interlace of your fingers behind your low back. And then reaching your knuckles towards where your head is. Really releasing any tension in the back of your neck. We've got two breaths here. On your next inhale, releasing the bind, both hands underneath your face, take a halfway lift. Runners lunge to the back of your mat. So runners lunge around your left foot, really nice. Easy twist, left hand peels open. Take your Cleopatra as you breathe out. And then sinking your hips all the way down to the mat, we will come into a seat with our left leg crossed over our right. Nice, got it? Perfect. Take an inhale, reach your arms up. Twisting around to the left as you breathe out. So your right hand, your left hand behind you, your right arm on your left thigh. And then taking your gaze to the back of the room. We've got two breaths here, can you Use your breath to find length in your spine. And then with that extra space that you've created between your vertebra, deepen that twist. So your vertebra have a little bit more room to twist around. Take one more inhale. Coming back, releasing from the twist as you breathe out. And then bending your right knee underneath you so that your left knee is stacked on top of your right. So we're coming into our Gomukhasana. And so for this one, knees are stacked one on top of the other. And if this is feeling really nice and juicy in the hips, please stay here. If you would like to deepen that sensation in the hips and add on a bit more, then you're welcome to start to walk yourself forward, but keeping your chest nice and lifted. If you are staying in the straight spine, Gomukhasana, then you're invited to add on the arms. So for this one, we'll lift our left arm up high, right arm down behind us, and then bending at the elbows, reach your fingertips towards one another, behind your head, behind your back. A gentle pressing of your head into your left arm to give you that nice straight spine, long neck. And maybe your fingertips grab a hold of one another and can reach your elbows inwards and reach your fingers towards one another. And we've got two or three breaths here. Taking one more inhale, slow exhale. If you're coming from the fold forward, start to walk yourself back up to a straight spine. If you've got the bind with the arms, releasing the arms. And then taking an inhale, reach your arms up. This one's a little bit tricky. We are going to reach our hands around to the right 
both hands come to the top or the back of your mat it'll be and then we press up into downward dog have i done that the right way around wherever you are downward dog back of your mat beautiful nice left leg lifts to three-legged dog draw your knee to your nose step between your hands and then take and uh, straighten through your left leg and we'll take our wide legged forward fold this time moving around to the right take a halfway lift with the spine this time as you fold forward grabbing a hold of the outer ankles giving yourself a bit of a lever or leverage to pull yourself forward we've got two breaths and can you come back to creating that safe space for any emotions any feelings that are wanting to be released to arise giving them a space to be felt knowing that they will pass through one more inhale and exhale both hands underneath your face take a half lift runners lunge towards the top of your mat hands to frame your right foot Easy twist, right hand peels open. Cleopatra, reach towards the back of the room, sink the hips down, 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 all the way down. Your right leg is bent over your left, arms reaching up to the sky. And then take your twist around to the right, right hand behind your hips, left arm pressing into your right thigh. Taking your gaze to the back of the room, we've got a few breaths here, can you find that really nice sensation although or maybe maybe not always nice but that sensation of twisting all the way through your spine one more inhale as you exhale releasing the twist coming back to the neutral position of spine and then bending your left knee underneath you right knee stacked on top of left this time and from there we'll move through our other side of Hermakasana again you have the option to fold forward know that it might be different on left and right so option to fold forward to deepen that sensation in your hips otherwise we'll take Kamakasana with the arms on the other side. Your right arm reaches up, left arm down, bending at the elbows, reaching fingertips toward one another behind you. A gentle pressing of your head into your right arm. Give you that length through your neck. Using breath here to breathe into any sticky sensations in your hips. take two more breaths final inhale and exhale walking yourself back up to a straight spine or releasing the bind both arms reach up and then taking your hands around to the left this time press through your soles of your feet straighten your legs downward dog and dropping your knees down to the mat here hips come on to heels and then swinging your legs around in front of you we're going to make our way down to our back arriving in our final pose our shavasana if you'd like to grab a jersey or anything to cover your eyes please do so now and when you're ready grabbing a hold of the backs of your thighs starting to unravel through your spine taking yourself all the way down to the ground your arms are wide take up some room legs out long 
Take your legs wider than your mat if it feels comfortable. We arrive in our Shavasana, taking a wee scan through your body, if they're checking in if there is anywhere else that you can release any remaining tension from. Maybe as you scan through, observing anywhere that your emotions, your feelings right now are being felt in your body. And then coming into a place of full stillness. We'll be in our Shavasana for about three to four minutes. Beginning to bring a little more length back into your breath. And we're rocking all of your head from side to side, massaging out the back of your skull. And 
Taking some micro movements through the rest of your body. And when you're ready, rolling over to your left side, using your left arm as a wee pillow for you to pause in your fetal position. Knowing that when we practice radical acceptance, rather than striving for, for perfection, we strive for wholeness and we give ourselves a sense of great freedom. And guiding yourself up to a seated position, taking your time and keeping your gaze down low, your eyes closed. Once you arrive in a seat, taking your right palm over your heart space, your left palm on top. Take an inhale, fill your lungs, fill your chest, feel your heart space, reach into your palms. As you exhale, bowing your head, taking a moment here for giving gratitude to yourself for arriving on your mat. Gratitude to the practice of yoga and all of those who have paved the way. And together we close this practice by saying Namaste.